Hello, audio family. How are you doing? It's really exciting to talk to you tonight. Um, I haven't done a live stream on Facebook for a while because I'm trying to transition off Facebook um, mostly, but I will use it to make big announcements, which is what I'm doing now. And um, I hope you guys got some vitamin D today because today was a lovely day in Victoria, which is unusual. So I hope you made the most of it. But I want to talk to you about tomorrow. I've got some notes here to make sure I cover everything. Because tomorrow we are having the first statewide event ever, okay? So this is super, super exciting. Um, the reason we're doing, so we have, four, we have 40 locations all over Victoria. And um, the reason that we are organizing this is because I believe, and I think a lot of other people agree with this, is uh, this mission, this fight is going to be won by small, active supportive community groups. Um, big protests are amazing and we do them once every two months. Um, well, I don't, I mean, it's done once every two months and they're absolutely amazing. But these community groups can still function during lockdowns um, while following all the crazy, ridiculous c communist style um, directions. They can still be active. They can support each other. When, when members are going through trouble, they can support each other. It's really important. So far, we have 65 groups all over Australia. And what we're trying to do now is grow those groups as much as we can because we have full-time staff. We have one full-time and one um, casual staff member looking after these groups. Because a lot of people, they've tried to join um, a group here and there. And, and what a lot of people have said to me is that there wasn't enough resources or support and it was hard to get active and motivated and stuff like that. These groups are different. Okay, so there are 40 locations all over Victoria. If you follow the link, you'll see all the, um, all the locations there. Like, I'll just give you an idea. Albury, Altona Meadows, Ararat, Bendigo, Brighton, Brunswick, Bandura, Burwood, Colac, Craigieburn, Cranbourne, Croydon North, Frankston, Geelong, Glen Iris, Hallam, Heidelberg, Laylor, Lilydale, Malay, Maribyrnong, Melbourne, Melton, Morwell, Mordialic, Mornington, Newington, Oakley, I've started now, I may as well finish, Oakley South, Pakenham, Preston, Roeville, Sunshine, Shepparton, St Kilda, Templestowe, Wallen, Warrigal, Werribee, Wonthaggy, Wattlesea. So all those places that have missed out on everything, you've got no excuse because we're coming to you. And the, the idea is is that go to the location that's on the website and you'll see there and try, make yourself known by wearing something fluoro or maybe carrying a little Australian flag or wearing a Freedom Fighter t-shirt or a um, one of the other Stand in the Park or, or any, of the, any of the merchandise that people have been selling during this time. Go there so that you can find each other. Um, and then that's it. That's a group. You've got a group. I mean, it's, it's so, I, I'm so glad that we're doing this. I'm really excited and I hope you are too. It's been a hard week with all the dibber dobbing and stuff like that. Um, but it's just because they're scared and they think that they're going to scare people off, but actually it's doing the opposite. We're going to get more motivated because of their scare tactics. That's how we win. They're trying to beat you by scaring the bejesus out of you. You can't let them win. That's what they want. So what we do instead is we say, hey, guess what? They're scared. We're going to keep going, okay? They're scared. So anyway, um, I will just keep going. I just want it. So make yourself known. Bring some snacks. Bring an umbrella. Bring a smile. Um, that's what I've been saying. And uh, basically, even if there's just three of you, two of you, it doesn't matter. One of you, one, of, one person in the group, please take somewhat of a leadership role. And what that means is collecting phone numbers for your own group, not for me. Don't, I, don't need, I don't need you to send me the numbers. Collect numbers, collect email addresses, and you've got a group. Then report back to RDA headquarters. Let us know how it went. Let us know how many people turned up. Let us know how, what the vibe was and et cetera, et cetera. Anything you want to let us know, let us know. All the information is in the link of the status that I have just uh, put here. So, um, just go there, take numbers and go. Now, even if you don't want to remain a leader, what you can do is take the numbers and, and over the next coming weeks, we'll find a leader to take over if you don't want to. Um, like I said, we have full-time staff looking after this. So all we're doing is providing the people because we have the database to provide the people to go to these locations. But what someone needs to do is take control of the group and what we'll do is give you resources. But guess what? It's your group. You don't have to do everything I ask you to do. 
You can do your own things. You can do everything I ask you to do. It doesn't matter. These groups need to form because we need to stick together because together we will we will win. And then you can bring your friends in one by one and you know each group can do different things. I know some groups do movie nights, some groups do dinner nights, cafe. Anyway, I'm rambling. But the point is, is these groups have been super successful. They've helped people's mental health. I'm just waiting for a love story. I really can't wait for a love story because I want to be responsible for a happy love story. I, I mean, I want to have brought people together for that to happen. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to move on. Um, now, when you go to these groups tomorrow, there may already be a leader in that area. Uh, we call them activators, not leaders, but there may already be an activator there. So if there is, they will make themselves known. And that means, hey, you don't have to step up, step up to do that job. But if you do want to take more of an active role in the group, please make yourself known to the activator so that you guys can work together and grow the group or maybe split the group once it gets too big. Some of the groups have gotten too big and they've had to split. Um, so, so yeah. Um, now, I wanted to talk to you about the police side of things for these events tomorrow. So the reason I've done this really last minute is because we got a window of fresh air from my gracious leader, and I thought we've got to act now. So, um, I don't, because who knows when we're going to be locked up again, right? Um, so the, the Cho directions at the moment is um, that there are outdoor gatherings of only 10, okay? So I, I can tell you that. Um, but I can't go, I can't, I'm not going to be driving around to 40 locations to ensure that people are following the true directions. So you're human beings and you have human rights and you know the rules and that's it. Um, the police obviously know that this event is happening. Um, it's online, so it's not hard to find. And, um, you know, I have liaised with them and I've told them that they are not protests. They are gatherings and I can't control the number of people that turn up. Now, if police turn up, which in some of the locations it's likely, don't be scared. It's not scary. Um, it's not the same as the, the footage that you've been seeing online um, of the protests and stuff. This isn't a protest. You're just gathering as like friends, okay? So if there's more than 10 um, from different households, um, you know, if you wanted to split up into groups of 10 um, and, and go for a walk or something, and then you can like swap Maybe you can swap people out of the groups if you want. Look, I'm just giving you ideas. I'm not telling you what to do. I just wanted to inform you of the potential things that could happen because I have a duty of care to anyone that does anything um, because I promote it. So just letting you know what's going on. Um, and that's it. So so I've done I've done my, my, my duty there. I'm just gonna check my notes, make sure I got everything. Um, yeah, so someone suggested that maybe we can do these fortnightly. So let's see how they go, um, because not everyone's going to be able to turn up tomorrow. So maybe if we do it every fortnight, then people can come and go as they please. But just to make it very clear, these groups are definitely social and they're definitely supportive, but the main focus is action. Okay. So like getting together to do flyers, to do letterbox drops, to do mini protests or to... Whatever it may be, um, you know, this isn't a, a granny club, okay? Um, although, like, socializing is a big, big part of it, but it's not everything. And, and I know people have been involved in groups and they haven't been active enough and it's been boring. And the thing is, is, like, we know what the problems are, okay? So let's try to make sure these groups aren't preaching to the, to the preached, to the converted, you know? Like, we don't need any speeches about... Um, you know, the one world government and the, uh, the, the agenda 20, like we know we we're living it. We're literally living it. So let's do everyone a favor. Let's not talk about the problems. Let's talk about solutions. I promise this will help your mental health. How do you think I've survived this time? I'm surrounded by all this terrible stuff that happens online, but I try to focus on what I can change and what what, what you can change is you can do letterbox drops. You can write emails to your MPs. You can support your local community. You can support the local businesses. Those are things you can do. What we can't do right now is stop Bill Gates at this very, very moment in time, for example. I'm just giving you an example. Let's not talk about the problems. Let's talk about the solutions. We have some very empowering, exciting and doable campaigns on the go right now. They're very well organized, very well resourced, but we don't publish 
everything um, as publicly as we used to. We're, we're learning how to be a bit more clever. It's not really in my nature because I like to splash things all over the place. But what I'm realizing is that we're actually getting too big now to be careless like that. Um, it's actually what we, what we are doing is being is really effective. So uh, we're going more underground <laughs> in a way. Not like we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything illegal here. Remember, like our underground commodity is freedom. So um, you know. Anyway, so um, anyway, these groups. This is the way forward, and this is what RDA is putting a lot of energy into right now. Um, so I really hope that you guys can can uh, can go to one of these events and keep an eye out for the. For our friends who aren't invited, the popo, you know, um, be respectful, be kind, um, and you know, you guys know the drill. So just look after yourselves, please, because uh, I don't want anything terrible to happen to anyone. Um, but I, it won't. Uh, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> so um, have a great day tomorrow. I am going to be at Pakenham, um, and yeah, there's 40 locations. So take your pick and tell your friends and bring your friends and. Let's see how it goes. And remember, you got to report back to RDA headquarters after your event if you are if you become the activator. And even if you're not the activator, you can still email us and let us know how it went because I would I would really love to hear that. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>